Now then, now do. David Hoyle here with a bit more Yorkshire Brass once again. Your weekly dose of brass and banter. Show number 186 this week in our YouTube online series. And we began with a request from Chris in Nottingham. The Corey Band were playing Night Flight to Madrid. Denzel Stevens made that arrangement of music by the wonderfully named Walter and Kermit Leslie. Great start to this week's programme. Thanks, Chris, for the request. And thanks, all of you, for your requests and your dedications. As always, we'll have a special subject this week. And uh, I'm continuing the uh, the travel theme that we started a couple of weeks ago, actually, you may remember. And um, we just broke off from that last week for the Remembrance programmes. The first march of the week has been chosen by Nick. Um, Nick lives in Upper Heaton, near Huddersfield, lovely part of West Yorkshire. And you've chosen a cracking march by Kenneth J. Alford. The Grimeth. Thorpe Colliery Band are playing here, Old Panama. <laughs> a really really listenable march isn't it old panama by kenneth alford the grimethorpe colliery band playing for nick in upper heaton near huddersfield an old recording now on the overture slot this week our heritage track of the week in fact stuart humphreys of the egremont town band another wonderful request from your extensive list we can't do many of these on the list because they're simply of an age where they haven't been recorded um, but i do know a lot of the pieces that you're sending in they're just not there in the in the library but this one certainly is and it's uh, an old recording as i say by the gus footwear band bela kayla billy kayla or bella kayla i don't know anyway 1872 this overture first appeared and thomas biggood made this arrangement for brass band lushed spiel <laughs> Thank you. 
this week's Heritage recording in the Overture slot, Thomas Bidgood's arrangement of Bela Kehler's, I'm going to call him Bela Kehler, uh, Lustspiel. It's a right mouthful, Lustspiel or Lustspiel. Um, I don't know which it is, but uh, it's a mouthful, isn't it? Stuart Humphreys of the Egremont Town Band, thank you very much indeed for your request, yorkshirebrass at gmail.com, the email address that Stuart used to send that one in. And also, Bob in Halifax did the very same with our first solo feature of the week. And I say feature uh, because it is a Cornet feature. Alan Morrison and friends on the front row at Grimethorpe Colliery Band are playing on this recording by Robert Eves. You're going to love this one. It's called Cornet Roundabout. <laughs> Cornet Roundabout by Robert Eves, Alan Morrison and Friends with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band playing there for Bob in Halifax. Morrison Hatfield is up next with a cracking old piece of music. This is in three movements, very, very listenable piece of music and uh, goes back some time. I'll confirm the exact year afterwards. Uh, but it was written by Arthur Wood and the Hepworth Band are playing here. Three Dale Dancers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dale Dancers by Arthur Wood, Sidney Herbert's arrangement for Brass Band was played by the Hepworth Band for Morris in Hatfield. Another feature coming up now, this time the percussion is featured in this piece of music, which was used as the theme tune for Pop Black, a snooker competition on the BBC back in the 1970s. The music is by George Botsford and the Sellers Engineering Band here with their esteemed percussion section, playing black and white rag. Thank you. 
Yeah, good catchy piece of music. Black and White Rag by George Botsford, the Sellers Engineering Band featuring their percussion department there. Sarah in Delft with that request. I always I always have a little giggle when I hear that music about uh, Ted Lowe, the great whispering Ted Lowe, the BBC snooker commentator who came out with an all-time blooper on TV when he said, for those of you watching in black and white, the pink is next to the green. Happy days. Now then, we've got Halifax coming up next and our Pat. Can you play me something from the Ground Force album for my birthday, please, in November? We certainly can. I've just chosen at random because the music on this CD is absolutely brilliant, Pat, and you obviously love it. Music written by Jim Parker and all played by the Black Dyke Band on that CD. The chosen track this time is called Badger Patrol.
More great music from the BBC TV series Ground Force, written by Jim Parker, played by the Black Dyke Band, and wishing happy birthday to Pat in Halifax, who requested something from that very CD. We're off on our travels again now. Well, we're travelling to West Houghton, first of all, to say hi to Keith. Thanks for listening to the show, Keith. Thanks for your lovely words. And the piece of music that you've written reminds us of warmer climes, and it's got a bit of a rhythm, says Keith, about it. It certainly does. This music was written by Ari Barosa, and Derek Broadbent made the arrangement for Brass Band. The Roberts Bakery Band are playing here. We're taking a trip. It's to Brazil. Robert's Bakery Band playing Brazil by Ari Barroso, Derek Broadbent's arrangement for Brass Band for Keith in West Houghton. Yorkshire Brass at gmail.com is the email address to use for any request. Please do bear in mind, I say this on every show, there is always a wait list of five to six weeks because of compliance purposes for the programme. It would be lovely to hear from you though. We're talking about holidays this week, about travel and about the things that people do on holiday, which you think really. Um, they spend lots of time looking for a ridiculously cheap bar and then when they get there they complain about the lack of views and entertainment 
Um, if you want a lovely view and you want some entertainment, both come at a price. You know, the rates of a, a sea view bar will be far more than a little lovely bar stuck in a corner somewhere. And if you want the entertainment, the entertainers have to be paid. So it's all reflected in the price of the beer. Uh, but the number of times I've heard, oh, I found a beer for a euro. Wonderful. Happy days. Take toiletries from the hotel. Yeah, this is on the list. Uh, I think we've all done this, haven't we? You know, you get your little bottles of stuff. And uh, what I find now is that they're there when you get there, but if you take them away, they don't replace them. And then the worst thing about it is that six months, a year, 18 months later, you find these little bottles in a bag at home, unused, and they've gone funny. Um, so I, I tend not to take them anymore because I just don't use them. I, I, I use what's given uh, in the hotels now, um, and that's it. A lot of things now, you go in the shower, and the things are on the wall, and you just, you just squeeze it and use it, don't you? Um, you buy something which is a fake... Um, yeah, you, you go to the, the street vendors, and that's when I, what I'm going to call them. Everybody knows what they're called or what we all call them, but street vendors is the acceptable name on this program. Um, but you go and buy a fake watch or some fake sunglasses, which, which to all intents and purposes look like the real thing. Uh, but then when the watch stops working or the, the arm comes off the sunglasses after a week or two, uh, you're all complaining. You know, 10 euros for a watch that looks the business. He's okay. And I've I've seen a vendor in Tenerife and on the back of his shirt it says, all goods guaranteed until your plane leaves the runway. They've got a sense of humour, these guys. Fair play to them. And the last one for now, the biggest one. Sunbed Wars. Oh my God. Unbelievable. I have seen this so many times. Even when the, there's a chain across and all the sunbeds are stacked up. And they'll open at nine o'clock and you can see people starting to queue from five past eight. What is that all about? And then they go and put the towels on a bed, and three hours later, the bed's still got the towels on. The people who put the towels on, though, are nowhere to be seen. Lots of hotels are getting to grips with this, thankfully, now, and if the towels haven't been used, the bed's not being utilised within a certain time, the towels are taken away and the beds are made available. I have seen arguments over that, saying, Oi, we put towels on this bed, and people say, well, When we got here, there were no towels. The safest thing to do is just get a bed when you arrive. But it'll, you'll never change it. It's going to carry on, and it's going to carry on forever, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we're on to the lovely piece of music now, which is our reflective piece. Stephen in Wolverhampton has made this choice this week uh, by Kenneth Downey, and I say this every time Kenneth's music comes up, you know you're in for a treat, you know you're in for some beautiful chords, and uh, this is going to be played by the International Staff Band of the Salvation Army. It's called The Joy of Loving Hearts.
this week's reflective piece of music chosen by Stephen in Wolverhampton, The Joy of Loving Hearts by Kenneth Downey, played by the International Staff Band. It's an absolute treat, is that I had the pleasure of playing that one earlier this year and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Taking us up to roughly halfway this week, John and Beryl in Leeds. Could we please hear the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band playing the African Waltz? It's one of our favourite recordings from the Floral Dance LP. You certainly can. This was written by Galt McDermott and it's another great arrangement for Brass Band by friend of the show, Derek Broadbent. Here we go, African Waltz. The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band playing Derek Broadbent's arrangement of the African Waltz by Galt McDermott. Thank you very much indeed again to John and Beryl who are in Leeds for that request. Next up we go to Ashton and to Jack, regular listener but not regular contributor says Jack. It's time to put that right. Good lad, good lad. Could I please hear Gordon Langford's arrangement of The Girl I Left Behind Me? I'm a trombone player. I love this piece. Uh, it's really good on the trombones, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, at the beginning and at the end. And uh, yeah, just so, so listenable. The Black Dyke Mills Band are playing here. Gordon Langford's The Girl I Left Behind Me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Langford's arrangement of The Girl I Left Behind Me by the Black Dyke Mills Band for Jack in Ashton. Jack, thank you very much indeed for that request, one of my favourites too. Next up, we've got another birthday. We're heading to Gloucester to say hello to Harold, Harold Grouse. Happy birthday, young man, uh, a brass band enthusiast and a bowler. I can't remember whether you're crown green or flat green, but you're a triple B, a brass band bowler. Harold says, I'd love to hear something, if at all possible, by the Flowers Band. Well, I'm going to play this one at our second march of the week. This is by Robert Brown Hall. You'll all know it because it's from the Brast Off film and CD. And it's a corker of a march. Death or glory? <laughs>
It's a great march, isn't it? That Death or Glory by Robert Brown Hall. The Flowers Band wishing Harold Grouse in Gloucester a very happy birthday. A brass band bowler. Wonderful. Two great hobbies. Next up, uh, another solo feature, this time the Cornet. And a great piece of music. This will get you going all right on a, on a cool autumn day. It's written by Zaquina de Abreu and it features Jim Hayes with the Cooperative Funeral Care Band. Sam in Colton, here's your request. Tico Tico.
Technical brilliance from Jim Hayes on the cornet there with the Cooperative Funeral Care Bands. The Queen of Abra, the composer, and the music was called Tico Tico. Sam in Colton, that was your request on the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. You know where to find us. Just type in Yorkshire Brass in Facebook, have a look at all the pictures, and you'll see all sorts of stuff that we've done. Send a request to join the group, and we will add you in. It's a closed user group. We love talking brass bands in there. Trevor in Huddersfield up next with an Eric Ball request, please, Oily, if I may. You certainly can, young man. Uh, this is a smashing little piece of music which most brass bands could have a fair crack at, to be honest. It's very listenable as well. Um, but the Black Dyke Mills band are playing here. Not just any band, of course. Let's have a listen to it. Eric Ball's Petite Suite de Ballet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Petit Suite de Ballet by Eric Ball, the Black Dyke Mills Band, playing at the request of Trevor in Huddersfield. Little Ballet Suite. It's lovely, isn't it? Some really good music in there. Erica is next in East Morton, near Keithley. Love the show, Eile, and could you please play this Gordon Langford piece of music for me on a show in mid-November, as it will be my birthday. I happen to like this solo. It's a slow piece of music. Very, very listenable indeed. I totally agree, Erica. It's absolutely grand. There's more than one arrangement of this, actually, but this is the Gordon Langford arrangement, played by the Roberts Bakery Band. Blow the wind southerly.
The Roberts Bakery Band playing Blow the Wind Southerly, Gordon Langford's arrangement of that lovely traditional piece of music, wishing Erica in East Morton near Keithley a very happy birthday. I've been talking about things that people do on holiday that a lot of people find strange and, and, and very British. Um, I'm going to do things a little differently in this bit. I'm going to say some things that you don't absolutely do not do on holiday because you are not insured if you do these things. Don't hire a moped. If you hire a moped and you have an accident, your insurance company will not pay out, unless you're on a very good insurance company uh, and you've told them that you're going to hire a moped and they've quoted accordingly. But most people will hire a moped without a care in the world, not realising that they're not insured. Um, Don't take pouting selfies on social media. Uh, They look awful. uh, And don't put it on social media while you're on holiday. It's a don't, an absolute don't. If you put things on social media while you are away on holiday and sadly your house is broken into your insurance company these days in most cases look at your social media profile and lo and behold there are the posts saying that you're wherever you are in the world and somebody's seen it broken into your house don't do it save them until you come back put one post on and tell everybody what a lovely time you've had a great way to do it. Ian and Julie in York are up next. Music by Leroy Anderson, oily please. Is there a brass band version of a piece called Fiddle Faddle? Do you know what? There is. Uh, another friend of the show, Sandy Smith, got hold of this one and made this great arrangement. Played here by the Leyland Band. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Leyland Band playing Fiddle Faddle, Sandy Smith's arrangement of the music of Leroy Anderson, playing there for Ian and Julie, who are in York. Our final solo spot of the week has been requested by Nigel in Marsh near Huddersfield. I'd love to hear the great sound of Brian Evans on the soprano cornet, please, Euler. And if he has recorded a version of Ness and Doma, well, that would just be the icing on the cake. The icing on the birthday cake. Lots of birthdays this week. Hey, happy birthday, Nigel. Brian certainly has made a recording of this one. And the Wingates Band are accompanying on this occasion. The music of Pacini. Nessun Dorma. What a sound. The great Brian Evans with the Wingates band playing Pacini's Ness and Dorma. Nigel in Marsh near Huddersfield. Happy birthday to you and the ideal choice, absolutely. Uh, next up, we're going to Wakefield to Lee. Uh, now, this particular piece of music I first heard in maybe about 1982. And, and it's another one that will absolutely stand the test of time. It's timeless and it would work as what I call a filler in any concert programme. Strangely, written by Jim Parker... Not strangely, because he's good at it, but we associate Jim Parker with loads of TV music, don't we? Uh, but this one, to my knowledge, isn't. It's played by the Stannington Brass Band, and for Liam Wakefield, this is Square Dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's really catchy stuff, isn't it? That Square Dance by Jim Parker, the Stannington brass band playing there for Lee in Wakefield. Test piece time now. Tony and all Woodley has the choice this week, and this takes us way, way back to 1921, one of the earliest test pieces ever. Test pieces really only started in, in the 19 in the in the teen, 1913 actually was the first one I do believe. But this one is an absolute classic. The Williams Fairy Band are playing Tony for you here. The music by Cyril Jenkins. Life Divine. <laughs>
This week's test piece, Life Divine by Cyril Jenkins, played by the Williams Fairy Band for Tony in All Woodley. The hymn tune slot this week is very specific. Diane in South Kirby has been in touch to say, I'd love to hear this piece of music, but could you please play it in the hymn tune slot, as we have done with our band. I've heard it done. I've heard it done in concerts, and it is lovely. It's written by Matthew Hall and played here by the Tradiga Town Band. This week's hymn tune slot, chosen by Diane in South Kirby, is called The Smile.
The Smile by Matthew Hall, the Tredegar Town Band, playing the penultimate piece of music on this week's A Bit More Yorkshire Brass with me, David Hoyle. Um, I've spoken about things on holiday and things that people do. I like to try and speak the local language if I can, but you know what, I'm really not very good at it. I once went into a supermarket in Mallorca to order five slices of ham. We were staying with the kids in an apartment and and we love, love doing that getting the local you know the bread from the local bakery uh even the local butter tastes different to what it does in the uk and i love like a french stick with ham and cheese in it at lunchtime so i go in go up to the deli counter all prepared you know i've been practicing for a couple of days for all this and everything hola cinco lochas de ham on por favor and the lady behind the counter said in which part of west yorkshire are you from then Oh, God. Would you believe that the lady behind the counter in the supermarket in Mallorca was from Castleford? Just, just unlucky. Oh, it is always unlucky with stuff like that. But uh, I said, have a w- did I say it correct? She went, well, you weren't bad. So, well, cheers. Andy and Rothwell, the final piece on this week's programme is for you. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining us for show number 186 of A Bit More Yorkshire Brass. 187 next week with more of your usual great requests. Uh, but we're finishing today with film music which Andy in Rothwell has gone to town on. Absolutely. The music by John Williams is played by brass band Burger Music Luzerne. See you next week. We'll leave you this time with Indiana Jones. Thanks again. (laughs) Ta-ra! Thank you.